Hello, 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 beautiful souls, and welcome to my channel. I am Certified Life Coach Talia Sage, and today's tarot pick a card message will be all about the golden opportunities coming your way over the next 30 days. Before I get into it, if you are new to my channel, if you have been enjoying my videos thus far, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. It lets YouTube know that you like what you see and that you want to see more of it. And it helps me to accomplish my mission, which is to reach and help as many people as possible create their best lives. So as I said, this video is going to be all about the golden opportunities coming your way over the next 30 days. We're going to get some overall energy about what is occurring in your life over this next 30 days. Then we're going to break it down and get specific about specific scenarios and situations that might be occurring in your life and get some advice from spirit and from a life coaching perspective of how you should handle it, what the best way to deal with these situations. As you can see, we have four group options, group one, two, three, and four. As usual, use your discernment, your intuition to decide which group or multiple groups are calling out to you. You may be drawn to more than one group and that's okay. However you decide is the best way for you. So don't second guess yourself. Don't overthink it. The messages that you need to hear will be delivered to you. If you need some more time to decide, pause the video here. Otherwise, when you're ready, you can find your timestamps listed down in the description box below. Click on that and you'll be fast forwarded to your messages. I'll see you there. Hello, group one. This will be your message about the golden opportunities coming your way over the next 30 days. So the main card that you received is garden. Something lovely will grow from this. Card 15. Right away, what I'm feeling that the main opportunities coming your way over this next 30 days is an opportunity for you to practice some self-love um, and to cut some things out of your life that may not be serving your best and highest good. This could be people, this could be thoughts, this could be habits. It could really be anything. So we'll get some more insight once we pull the tarot later to get more information about the different scenarios and situations that you may come across over this next 30 days. But your next cards are Take Time to Breathe Out, Disseminating Moon. Your chakra cards, you receive three for the next 30 days. You have Isolation in Reverse, Impartiality in Reverse, and Despondence in Reverse. 100% that takes me back to what I was feeling with your initial card. There's something within your life that you have been avoiding dealing with. You've been isolating yourself from having to face the issue, from having to make a decision, to think about it, whatever it is. And the universe is trying to tell you over this next 30 days that you can no longer remain impartial. You have to make a decision. Shit or get off the pot. Um, it's going to be one of those scenarios where if you don't make a decision for yourself, the universe might throw in some sort of tower moment that forces you to make a decision or that makes the decision for you and then you have to deal with the fall fallout. So what have you been ignoring in your life group one is the question. You're receiving the golden opportunity over this next 30 days to finally deal with it and release it. I feel like whatever it is, it's been causing you some anxiety, some low key stress, and it may have been causing you to give in to maladaptive behaviors um, as a way of ignoring the situation. So this could be like, maybe you're spending more time on your phone, getting lost playing games or on social media spending more time playing games like literal video games or eating more, um, partaking in, you know, just overindulging in things like food, alcohol, possibly even drugs, right? Just giving in to instant gratification 
so that you so that it eases the pain of what you know you have to deal with in the long run. I hope that makes sense. And this despondence card here, it talks about knowing that there is something in your life that you need to cut out, but in reverse, it's telling you that you've been ignoring it. Once again, what have you been ignoring, group one? And you're already receiving some advice here to take time to breathe out. Don't allow this situation to cause you so much anxiety and stress, worry, or overthinking. Breathe. You might want to do some breathing exercises over this time, but especially you want to make sure that you're doing things that help you to stay grounded. Getting out in the sun, taking walks, being around water, um, you know, self-care, those long hot baths or going for a swim somewhere. Whatever helps you to feel good without it being a crutch. That is what the universe would like you to do over this next 30 days to help you make this decision that you need to make. And then your self-care cards for the month. You have Watch a Movie, card 54, and Dream Journal, card 20. So right away... Normally with the dream journal card, I would say, write in your dream journal. But I feel like for many of you, you already have written in a dream journal. And there could have been something that you wrote down in the past that your spirit guides would like you to look back at. I feel like there's been some sort of pattern in your life that your spiritual team wants you to recognize. And that's only for those of you who keep a dream journal or who had a dream journal in the past and you still have it. Another way that you can help yourself over this time while you're dealing with whatever it is that you're dealing with is to allow yourself to rest and watch a movie. One of the maladaptive behaviors that you might be taking on is keeping yourself busy. Uh, overworking yourself almost to the point of burnout just so you don't have to face the reality of some situation. So allow yourself time. Back to that, take time to breathe out. Allow yourself time to be still because in those moments of stillness is when I feel like the revelations will come to you that help you to get clear about what it is that you need to change in your life. For some of you, you have no idea what this is. There's something nagging at you that just, it's just nagging at you. And it's like you can't put your finger on what it is. But if you allow yourself time to stop, maybe do some meditation, maybe to just get quiet, turn off the radio, turn off social media, turn off the TV, whatever it is, then that answer will come to you. That's also what that despondence card speaks of as well. You, everything that you need is within, is basically what your spiritual team would like you to know over this next 30 days. Um, everything that you need to make a decision, I just heard a clean break. So some of you could very well be deciding to walk away from someone, to end a relationship, to leave a job, to go cold turkey when it comes to some sort of addiction or habit that you have. It's going to be different for all of you, so apply it to your life as it fits. But let's get some cards out. Oops, she's naked. Let's get some cards out about the possible situations that may be coming in. Okay, there we go. So, you received three of pentacles first. Then you received the sun. Followed by the three of cups. These are the three different situations or opportunities that will be pre presenting themselves to you over the next 30 days. So, the first opportunity I feel is to ask for help. You may want to 
speak with a therapist or a certified life coach such as myself or ask someone around you for help. This could be just talking to someone, um, speaking out loud what's on your mind, right? This could be you needing financial help or maybe needing to ask someone to borrow money or ask someone to help you move or ask someone to help you find a new place to live, something. There's, your spiritual team would like you to know that you don't have to do it all yourself. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Support is there if you ask for it. Stop isolating yourself. Stop hiding whatever the issues are that are going on in your life because there are people, even your spiritual team, there are entities around you that want to help you and support you. Your second here, you have the sun. This is all about receiving the opportunity to create that happiness within your life, to bring some joy back to your life. And it came out second on top of this garden. Something lovely will grow from this card. And I keep being drawn back to your sword here. This is all about your thought patterns. Um, maybe the words that you tell yourself, um, the ways in which you think about something, the ways in which you decide to deal with something. But this is also about perhaps once again, cutting out certain things that you know are causing you sadness, that are causing you to maybe not feel good, whether this is emotionally or physically. It's about being honest with yourself about those things that are no longer serving you and releasing them in order to create more happiness within your life. And then once again, we come here to another three. This once again, it's about seeking that support about, I feel putting yourself out there to go out with people, to engage with people, to allow yourself to have fun and to stop thinking about all the things that are wrong. I feel like part of the opportunity for you over this next 30 days is to really, really change the way that you're thinking, which is a form of self-care. You have two cards here, these two threes. Threes to me are all about health and self-care. Um, too often, we don't recognize the words that we're telling ourselves. Uh, we beat ourselves up way too much. And you're being called to really pay attention to your feelings, your emotions, and what you're thinking, what you're saying to yourself. Are you isolating yourself because you don't feel like you are where you want to be in life? Are you isolating yourself because you question if people really like you? It's going to be different for all of you, so apply it to your life as it fits. And if you would like to schedule a private coaching session, you can reach out to me at my website. But this month is really trying to afford you the opportunity to better your health, whether that's emotionally, spiritually, or physically. Only you will know where you need to put that focus. Do you need to exercise more? Do you need to eat healthier foods and say no to the junk food? Do you need to change the way that you talk to yourself? Do you speak to yourself negatively or positively? Are there people in your life who take more than they give back? Only you know where the situation lies. But what I can tell you is that if you do decide To make a decision, to make a stand for yourself, you will be able to celebrate your success after this next 30 days. You're going to come out of it just fine, unscathed. Um, I'm seeing someone who could be coming out of a depressed time, um, who, is, who could be leaving anxiety in the past, relieving themselves of some sort of anxiety. Yeah, you'll definitely have something to heal. Something will be healed, I should say. 
Nine of Emotions is your next card out. This is definitely someone sitting pretty, someone who is They created abundance within their lives. They are emotionally fulfilled. They are emotionally stable. They feel good. They look good. They're able to treat themselves. This is what you can expect after this next 30 days. If you answer this call, if you take this time out and really get clear about what is creating the lack within your life. This is way too many. Let me get some final cards here for you about any more guidance or advice or situations that may be coming into your life over this next 30 days. I feel like threes are a really important number for you over this next 30 days. So watch out for the number three. Watch what you're thinking during that time. Watch what, watch out for signs from the universe. It's going to be really important. Okay, your first card is unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. 100%, that goes back to that sword energy there. Take a pause. It's okay to take a break sometimes and just be. You don't always have to be doing. If you allow yourself to take a pause, the answers you need will be able to come to the surface. And that is that beneficial, cha beneficial, beneficial change that you are looking for that will create this happiness. Next, we have camel. Persevere and you will overcome problems. You're about to overcome problems. I'm being drawn to this baggage on the camel's back, I feel like there is some baggage that you've been holding on to that you really don't need to hold on to. There are some things in your life that you can release that will create this feeling of being unburdened that will allow you to bring more happiness into your life. Once again, be still and those answers will come. And then you have desk, pay attention to your work. Your work could be not as great as it could be because you're burning yourself out. Um, if you've been doing the opposite and giving into maladaptive behavior and not focusing on your work at all, then this is a call to pay attention to your work because that tower moment that I spoke of could happen in that situation. And then your final card is handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. You will be meeting someone over this next 30 days. What will happen between you two is going to be different for all of you. They could say that important thing that you need to hear that helps you to discover all the answers that you need. They could be that person who can come and offer you that support that you've been looking for. I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you. But there's someone coming into your life who will, who is very important. That's all I can say. And then finally, I just wanted to leave you with one final message. Your tea leaf card says, what a desolate place would be a world without a flower. And what this is telling me is that this, over this next 30 days, look for the positive. Do not focus on the negative. If you feel like you're going negative in your mind, um, or if you feel like there is a lot going wrong in your life and that's all you can focus on, try to rein in that energy and find something to be grateful for. Find something that you can celebrate and enjoy. And it will help you get through whatever hard times you may be going through. Group one, this has been your message all about the golden opportunities coming your way over this next 30 days. I hope this helped you for your next 30 days. If this resonated, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to schedule a private coaching session, you can find that information listed at my website down below. 
I love you and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Hey group two, this will be your message about the golden opportunities coming your way over this next 30 days. So these are going to be your main cards to give me insights onto about the main energy that will be surrounding you over this next 30 days. So your main card is shark. Swim away from this situation, card 35. Hmm. So over this next 30 days, you have this 35 reducing to an eight, which is all about abundance. I feel like over this next 30 days, your intuition is going to be trying to tell you, um, is going to be alerting you to a situation or a person within your life that is not good for you and helping you to dodge a bullet is what just flashed before my mind's eye. You're going to have the opportunity to dodge a major bullet. This could be noticing red flags in someone and being like, nope, not going there. Um, it could be red flags when it comes to a job, when it comes to an idea that you have. Whatever it is, you're going to receive the opportunity to dodge a bullet over this next 30 days. Let's see, your chakra cards, you have faith in reverse and perception. Your monology card is work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. And then your self-care card for the next 30 days is rest, card 43. Okay, so the main energy surrounding you over this next 30 days is all about your perception around something. Um, there could be something that you're telling yourself could never work. It can never happen. Um, like you have lost faith or stopped believing that something is possible for you. And for the majority of you, this energy is all about your mind. How you think, how you perceive something, what you believe in your heart. And working through your fears around it. I'm hearing imposter syndrome. I'm hearing, what is that spirit? Um, just self-doubt, um, low self-worth, just believing that like you're not worthy of, of something. I'm hearing, oh, self-sabotage. That's what they were trying to tell me. Like there could be some amazing opportunity coming your way in this next 30 days or an opportunity that has already presented itself to you that is like you're starting to doubt and question and wonder if you really have what it takes or wonder if this relationship is really as great as you think it is or if this person if this is a, is a relationship for some of you it's almost like you trying to run away from that relationship before it can run away from you because you don't feel worthy of it and it doesn't have to be Actually, for all of you, this is. It's not, it doesn't just have to be a romantic relationship. This could be a friendship, it could be a job. It could be you going back to school to try to get that degree and better your career in some way. It's like, stop telling yourself that you're not good enough. Stop doubting yourself. That is the opportunity coming in for you over this next 30 days is to break free of that self-sabotage. And then you have this rest card showing up. 43 reduces to a seven. So that's telling me that this is spiritual. This is um, spiritual growth that's coming in for you over this next 30 days if you accept this challenge. Um, and I'm hearing sleep on it. When you, ooh, and I'm getting the crown chakra tingles. Over this next 30 days, when you find yourself in situations where it's like you're getting anxious and you're questioning if something is real or true or um, feeling like you need to make a decision right away about something, you're being called to sleep on it. See how you feel in the morning. Because oftentimes, lack of sleep or being too hungry, um, it can affect the way that we're seeing things. So really, Watch 
your perception. Pay attention to the words that you're telling yourself. Do you believe that you're worthy? Do you believe that this thing can really lead to more fulfillment and happiness? Right? Or are you telling yourself the opposite? Don't self-sabotage. There's something really great that's already been in your life or coming into your life over this next 30 days. Do not self-sabotage it. All right, let's pull some tarot cards to get some insight into what these specific scenarios could be. That abundance, that 35 reducing to an 8, like there's definitely something here that can lead to so much happiness, that can lead to abundance. And it's like you're afraid of it. Don't allow the fear. <laughs> yep. Don't allow the fear to make you lose out on a good thing. Take care of yourself. Make sure you're staying grounded. Um, you have two threes popping up. You could be coming here from group one. They also had multiple threes. But take care of yourself. Make sure you're resting enough. Make sure you're drinking enough water, eating right, exercising. Because not being in prime physical condition can definitely affect your mental, your mental body and how you're perceiving things. And I would like to point out that you have three, four, five. You're making progress. What in whatever area of this of life this is for you, you are making progress. So don't doubt yourself. Don't allow that fear to come in and knock you off course. So your first tarot card is Ace of Pentacles. Then you had the Emperor. Four of Wands, the Chariot, and the Knight of Cups. These can be many different scenarios, situations that are occurring, or they could all be connected. And I feel like they're all connected since all of these wanted to come out together. So first situation here what like i said you've either had an opportunity come into your life or over this next 30 days some sort of opportunity will be entering your life and it might seem too good to be true this could be a relationship this could be someone trying to make a commitment to you um, a proposal even um, this could be you applying for that loan for your dream home or putting in an application for that apartment uh i don't know and telling yourself oh it'll never happen you're being called to think happy thoughts i just saw peter pan think happy thoughts over this time what you focus on you create is the message for you over this next 30 days if you're telling yourself that nothing that something will never happen then that is what you will create but if you think positive thoughts you're more likely to get that thing. And even if you don't get that specific thing, you've already put it out to the universe what you want. And it's helping to bring in something even greater than that thing, right? I feel like you could have had lots of setbacks, lots of disappointments, or what you would consider a failure, uh, failures within your life, but what your spiritual team wants you to know is that those things were not failures. Like you did not miss out on something. Those things were not going to bring you your ultimate happiness and fulfillment. So stay positive. Stay hopeful that what's meant for you will come to you. That what you're looking for is out there waiting for you. 
because here it is being presented to you, okay? An opportunity is definitely coming your way. And this is something quite material. This could be a new job. This could be that new home. This could be a relationship. It's going to be different for all of you. So apply it to your life as it fits. You're going to have to make a decision here. Are you going to allow the fear to hold you back? Are you going to allow the fear to make you question what this is? Or are you going to, to grab a hold of it? All right? Your next opportunity that will present itself to you over this next 30 days is an opportunity for you to step up as a leader. This could be a leader within your own life. This could be accepting some sort of leadership position. This could be starting a business. It's going to be different for all of you. But whatever this position is, it's allowing you to create more stability within your life. This could be, once again, um, building that family home. This could be you stepping into that relationship that you're looking for. Um, this card also speaks about contracts and commitments. So it might afford you the opportunity to make some sort of commitment or sign some sort of contract. Whatever it is, you're being called to put your blinders on, to look away from the fear, to look away from all the past events that did not go your way, and to focus on what it is that you want. You're being called to use some emotional maturity in how you handle the situation. Uh, the next 30 days is really an opportunity for you to leave behind limiting beliefs, self-sabotage, imposter syndrome, to allow you to to reach your destination. And get one outcome card for you. Outcome card for group two. <laughs> the Empress. You have the Emperor and the Empress showing up in the same reading. The Empress is all about creating. It's all about that manifestation energy. Uh, taking in what is presented to you and turning it into something even greater. Um, birthing something new over this next 30 days if you put your focus into taking care of yourself focusing on the positive taking care of that mental health you will be able to birth a new life for yourself this could be in the term in terms of financial abundance this could be in terms of uh, new stability new commitments, new contracts. This will help you to move forward that much quicker into the life that you want to create for yourself, into the feelings you want to feel, into the relationships you want to have. I love that for you. Threes are so important. Self-care is so very crucial for you over this next 30 days. Pay attention to the thoughts that are going through your head. Pay attention to what you are telling yourself about specific situations. I get some final words from spirit here.
right, your first card is Flute, Disappointment in a Friend or Lover. What this is telling me is that you may be experiencing some disappointment in a friend or lover, but back to that perception. Could you be perceiving things incorrectly? Could your expectations be a bit too high? Could you be self-sabotaging this connection? Pay attention to that. Next, you have broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Think positive thoughts. If you're feeling like something, if something does not go the way that you want it to over this next 30 days, think those positive thoughts. Um, like I said before, just because something doesn't work out the way that you want it to doesn't mean that you're doomed. It doesn't mean that something better isn't waiting for you around the corner. Don't allow yourself to give in to negative, negative thinking, negative feelings. Yes, feel your, feel your feelings, but dust that off your shoulders and keep moving forward. This, whatever it is, was never meant for you. There's something better waiting for you. Then you have casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. You're putting an end to some situation over this next 30 days. Key, successful outcome to your problems. <laughs> I love this. Just because something didn't work out doesn't mean that all is doomed. Yet again, you will find success. Next, you have parrot. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. This could be the disappointment in a friend or lover. If this isn't about you looking at a situation poorly, it could be that this person is doing this, gossiping, right? And it might be time to cut them loose. That's okay. Someone better will be waiting for you. You will find that connection with the four of wands that you're looking for eventually. And then we have pineapple reconciliation. You could be fighting with someone thinking something is a bigger deal than it really is, right? There will be reconciliation. It could be with this person. It could be within your own emotions. It could be with someone from your past going to be different for all of you so apply it to your life as it fits this is just giving you a heads up into what may be occurring in your life over the next 30 days and then finally i'm going to pull one final message for you you have peace comes from within do not seek it without 100 percent self-care is the name of the game it will help you physically mentally and spiritually all right don't look for that outside validation don't give in to mal maladaptive behaviors to cope find the peace that you need with that tell yourself this too shall pass tell yourself just because this one thing didn't work out doesn't mean that there's not something better waiting around the corner because something is uh, find those positives it's very important for you over this next 30 days so group two, I hope this resonated with you. If it did, if it, if you feel that it will help you over this next 30 days, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below. If you would like some coaching sessions to help you work through any problems that may arise over this next 30 days, feel free to reach out to me at my website. You can find that information down in the description box below. Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much and I will see you again soon. Goodbye. Hello, group three. This will be our messages all about what you need to know, your golden opportunities coming to you over this next 30 days. We have some cards here that are going to give me your overall energy for the next 30 days and some self-care advice. We'll follow it up with some tarot cards about the situations that may be occurring in your life get an overall outcome, and then finish off with some final words of advice from your spiritual team. So your first card is morning. The world awaits you. Card four. 40, I mean. That 40 reduces to a four. So what I'm feeling is that over this next 30 days, the golden opportunities coming your way 
are opportunities that will help you to really be your authentic self, to finally allow the world to see you for who you really are. It's going to help you to shed some masks. It's going to help you to, I feel like, gain some clarity about yourself, about what you want out of life. Helping you to bring a little bit more joy and happiness into your life. But let's get some more cards. Ooh, you received a lot of self-care. All right, your chakra card is victim with the heart chakra. That makes a lot of sense. Your moonology card is you are good enough, full moon in Virgo with more heart chakra energy. Your self-care cards, you have make an altar, card 16. Alone time, card two. And plan a vacation, card 39. Okay, the main energy surrounding you over this next 30 days. Once again, like I said, you'll be receiving the golden opportunities to step more into your authenticity, to release some masks, to stop, to shed the ways in which you have made yourself a victim. I spoke about that clarity. This clarity is going to really help you to get clear about what's on your heart. I feel like there has been some lies that you tell yourself, some lies that you've maybe believed that other people have told you in the past. There might be restrictions that you place upon yourself or others have placed upon you that you have held on to, making you a victim of some sort of circumstance. And my legs are tingling as I'm saying that. So that is what is happening. And I feel like these lies that you've maybe told yourself or that other people have told you is made you feel as though you are not good enough in some area of your life. This can relate to anything, so apply it to your life as it fits, but this could be not feeling good enough for that relationship that you want, not feeling like you are lovable, not feeling like you're good enough for that job that you want. Um, the relationships could be physical, or romantic, platonic with your family, with your job or career, your finances. Apply it to you, your life as it fits. It's all about your heart space over this next 30 days. You're going to be receiving the opportunities to heal something around your heart space. Releasing something that has made you a victim of your circumstance and allowing you to take back your power. For your self-care over this time, you might be interested in making an altar. If you go to church or synagogue or mosque, whatever it is, you might want to spend some time doing that. But overall, what I'm getting from this is spend some time in prayer. Spend some time maybe meditating. Um, really examining what's in your heart. Really maybe praying to the universe for the answers that you need. Whatever it is that you do, I feel like you're being called to just get a, get quiet because you have this make an altar and alone time. Spend some time within your own energy. That is how these revelations that may be coming your way may come about. This is how um, I, I'm feeling like some epiphany moments, revelations coming your way over this next 30 days that will be helping you to understand more about yourself and how you have allowed yourself to be a victim. And then we have this plan of vacation. This is telling you to take care of yourself. Um, to not focus so much on maybe what's going wrong in your life, um, what you don't have, but to allow yourself to be hopeful and look towards the future about the good things that may come in. Maybe there's a trip that you want to take. Maybe there's someone that you want to go visit. Maybe there's just something that you would love to do in your life. Focus on that. Um, I feel like the overall advice for you over this next 30 days is to focus on that thing that you want and then spend some time alone figuring out how you can make it happen. 
not telling yourself that you can't do this or do that, not telling yourself that it will never happen, but just making it happen. Start from this thing and work your way backwards. What do you have to do in order to get there? If you want to, I don't know, take a cruise around the world, but you maybe don't have the finances, what can you do to create the finances that you need? Do you maybe need to cut back on your Starbucks habit? Do you need to maybe eat at home more so you can save more money? I feel like this next 30 days is really just giving you the opportunity to create a plan of action, to, cre to bring in some sort of manifestation that you have for yourself. All right, let's take some cards here to get some insight into what the situation or the scenarios may be. I'm really feeling for you that this is more spiritual with a bit of that material aspect coming in of creating a solid plan, creating a solid foundation. I feel like the world is waiting for you to just grab it by the balls. The world is waiting for you to just go after what it is that you want. And the universe is trying to get you to realize that you can make it happen for yourself. You don't need anyone else to help you. You don't need someone else to come save you. That you have all the power that you need in order to make this life happen for yourself. 100%. All right, I think you only have two cards. You have two of pentacles and seven of swords that want it to present itself. This is exactly what I was saying. Your golden opportunity over this next 30 days is allowing you to bring more balance into your life, to balance your work and play, um, to create that plan to have more balance in your life. The Seven of Swords speaks about deceit. It speaks about how we deceive ourselves. That's that victim coming out right there. This next 30 days is affording you the opportunity to get honest with yourself about how you hold yourself back, about how you lie to yourself, how you deceive yourself. It's helping to bring these things to your awareness so that you can cut them out once and for all creating more balance and stability within your life so that you can create those beautiful, wonderful things that you have in mind for yourself. Let's get an outcome card for you. <laughs> Ace of Materials is what is coming out. This is a new start. This next 30 days is helping you to create a new beginning for yourself. Um, this is something that will be long lasting. If you choose to accept this challenge, this will be something, I just heard change your fate. This will be something that changes your fate. This is beautiful. Um, I also just saw the movie Brave in my mind's eye. So that might be something that you want to watch or it might be a movie that you enjoy. You could be coming from pile one or you may want to go watch it. Um, yeah, this next 30 days is all about no longer being a victim of your circumstance. It's about taking the power back into your hands and creating a new plan of action for yourself that will help you to reach the goals and dreams that you have on your heart. I love it. Let's get some more cards out for you. This next 30 days is helping you to mature spiritually and emotionally. And that maturity spiritually and emotionally is going to help you to create that new life that <laughs> crib um the ace of materials that new life 
that new solid foundation, that new beginning that you've been wanting. Okay, so there's someone. Nope. Okay, your first card is crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. You could be receiving um, a business idea, or this could just be, like I said, a new plan of action that you can begin to implement to create that life that you, that you see for yourself. Next, you have harp, great happiness. You can expect great happiness if you decide to release the victimhood and step into your full power. Next, we have December. You could be taking this vacation in December. You could have some sort of manifestation, whatever it is that you want to create or experience coming into your life as early as December. Then we have Mountain Road. You are on the road to success. Yeah, cut out those things that need to be released, all right? And then Vase, Secret Admirer. A secret admirer may be presenting themselves to you over this next 30 days. Um, like I said, I felt relationship before. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be with a friend. It could be with a job. It could be with your finances. But there is something or someone out there who wants you as much as you want it. Right? And I feel like you're going to discover over this next 30 days that you can have this thing. That you are good enough. So believe in yourself. You have the power to create the change that you want to see in your life. Group, group three. All right, I'm going to get one final message out for you. And it says, be guided. Listen to the whispers of the universe. The universe is trying to tell you something over this time. It's trying to help you to create the life that you see for yourself. It could be via this video. It could be messages coming in to you. Like I said, those revelations, those epiphany moments over this next 30 days. Listen to them. You will not be disappointed. Group three, if this resonated with you, if you feel that this helps you, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below. If you would like to schedule a private coaching session to help you work through any limiting beliefs, self-sabotage, um, victimhood mentality, please reach out to me at my website. I would love to help you. Thank you for being here. I love you so much, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye. Hello, Group 4. This will be your message about the golden opportunities coming your way over this next 30 days. So, these cards here are going to give me some information about the overall energy surrounding you over this next 30 days and a self-care message to help you get through this time. So your first card is stars. You can manifest your every wish, card five. So the golden opportunities coming your way is change. And that five tells me it's all about change. It's all about creating the change that you want in order to be able to manifest your every wish, in order to be able to bring those wishes, those manifestations into your life. Okay, your chakra card. We have bittersweet with the throat chakra. Your monology card says have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. Your self-care card is sound healing. Card 47. All right. I want to first point out that your self-care card you have is 47, which reduces to an 11. That is telling me that there is a new start coming your way if you decide to answer this call, to accept this challenge. I feel like the overall challenge for you over this next 30 days is being honest with yourself admitting the truth to yourself and allowing yourself to release things that are no longer serving your best and highest good. This could be people, this could be thoughts, this could be habits. But it's really, the, 
the opportunity coming your way is the opportunity to get just real honest with yourself. It might be bittersweet. It might be hard to admit the truth to yourself. But once you're able to admit that truth to yourself, then you're able to create the change that you want to see. And I'm being drawn to something that happened in my life today. Um, while at my traditional job, uh, someone was telling me about their daughter who admitted to them that they were in an abusive relationship. And the daughter said to them that that was the first time that they had ever been able to speak it out loud. And they knew that now that they had spoken it out loud, that there is no way that they could continue to ignore the situation and that it was time to do something about it. And that's what I'm being called to bring up for you. Like, it's time to admit the truth about something. And once you are able to either speak it out loud to someone or even admit it to yourself, that that's like that first step in creating the change that is necessary, right? Um, it's like, it's like what they say about addictions. Some of you could be dealing with addictions, but admitting that you have an addiction is the first step to healing that addiction, right? So have faith that things can change. Admit the truth to yourself. And once you're able to do that, then you're able to start creating that change that you want to see. Over this time, you might want to do some sound healing. Um, you might want to listen to some sound healing meditations. The sound healing could even be just like the vibration of your own voice when you, when you speak this thing out loud finally. This could be holding on to memories and things that maybe happened to you that you've maybe never admitted to another soul and finally just getting it out. Like those vibrations can be healing. Um, you might just want to get out in nature and listen to some nature. This is going to be different for all of you, but whatever your body is calling for you to do, whether that is to speak, whether that is to listen to some sound healing med meditations or listen to some um, sound bowls, whatever it is, do it over this next 30 days. It's going to be very beneficial for you and it's really going to help you begin to create to manifest those dreams that you have for yourself. Going to get some cards here to get some more insight into what these events or situations may be in your life. Golden opportunities coming to group four over the next 30 days. <laughs> you receive the emperor in reverse and all of these cards are upright in this deck, so I will be taking it reverse since it showed itself that way. You have the Knight of Cups. Let's see if there's one more. Yep. And the Two of Cups. Underneath the deck, you have the Hierophant. Okay, so group four. The golden opportunities coming to you. I feel like they're going to present them, themselves in these ways. First off, there's going to be an opportunity to not have to be so strong, to not have to appear like you have it all put together, to not have to be that leader. I feel like you're going to get a, receive an opportunity over this next 30 days to allow yourself to be vulnerable. This could be crying in front of people if this is something that you don't do. Once again, this could be speaking the truth to, about something, admitting the truth about something. You could decide to go see a therapist or a counselor or to work with a certified life coach such as myself. But whatever it is, it's like it's this opportunity to be vulnerable, to shed some tears, to allow I feel like some emotions, some feelings that I've been trying to bubble up to the surface to finally allow them to bubble up to the surface and break free. 
I feel like some way you've been putting a lot of pressure on yourself and it's going to come to a head over this next 30 days. And the opportunity you're being called to take is to allow yourself to break. Just because you break does not mean you cannot put yourself back together. Sometimes you have to allow yourself to break so that you can rearrange yourself in a new way. This leads into this Knight of Cups, which is all about a new level of maturity when it comes to your emotional health and well-being. And this is also about you following your intuition. Didn't I, did I say before? Yes, listen to your body about what it wants you to do in order to heal. Listen to your body, follow your intuition. You are, over this next 30 days, you're receiving the opportunity to grow emotionally and spiritually. If you allow yourself I feel like to be cracked open. There could be truths that you try to hide from yourself. There could be memories that you try to repress that you don't want to deal with. But it's like, it's going to, this next 30 days is going to allow you the opportunity to deal with those things. And if you allow yourself to deal with them, to maybe receive help if you need help or to just work with your spiritual team even, it's going to bring you into this place with the Knight of Cups of gaining more spiritual growth and maturity and emotional growth and maturity. And this is going to bring in more balance within your life, more stability within your life emotionally. I feel like it's going to help you to release perfectionistic tendencies. It's going to help you to release people pleasing. It's going to help you to just release things that have been holding you back and preventing you from really being as truly happy as you can can be. And you being able to release those things is going to bring you into, this could be a person that you need to release. It could be connections. It could be your memories and feelings to a connection. But it's going to bring in the opportunities for you to really align with the people and things that are meant for you, that will bring you that joy and that happiness and that fulfillment. You deserve it. Allow yourself to have it. I'm like seeing someone here who they could be holding on to a lot of trauma from their past and they're not realizing how much that trauma affects their current relationships or their lack of current relationships. Or they might even know that it's affecting them but not know how to deal with it. This next 30 days is going to give you the opportunity to deal with something, to heal it. Maybe find some forgiveness, maybe find some acceptance. Your final outcome is the page of inspiration. This is you being able to begin a new journey. This is that spark being relit inside of you in some area of your life. This could be in terms of relationships, romantic or friendship or with the family member. This could be your relationship to your job, to your money, um, whatever it is, there's going to be a spark of inspiration and you have the black cat showing up. And to me, that black cat is all about intuition. You're going to be able to realign with your intuition. I feel like there's something that you've been burying down deep that you haven't fully admitted to yourself that has been Blocking your connection to your intuition. Blocking your connection to your spiritual team. I love it for you. Oh, you have two black cats. Keep an eye out for black cats over this next 30 days. Think about what you're thinking when you see them. Um, think about what's going on around you when you see them. It's going to be messages for you over the next 30 days. This page of inspiration is passion, it's excitement, it's a new journey. Have faith in your dreams. They are a possibility. I love it. Oop, you got cards falling on the floor. Okay. Your next cards, you have 
Fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. This could be this connection that may be coming in. This could be someone that you're already dealing with in life. It could be someone that you have to let go. It could be um, someone who has caused some sort of pain or trauma in your past. It's going to be different for all of you, so apply it to your life as it fits. Next, we have tent, temporary situation. Know that this healing is temporary, that you will get through it, that this will not last forever. The pain, the sadness that you may be feeling, it is only temporary. Next, you have January. Hmm. I was just drawn to this Have Faith in Your Dreams card. Whatever change that you want to create in your life, whatever dreams you're trying to manifest, they could be in your life by January. If you do this work, <laughs> then you have flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Exactly. Admit the truth to yourself about something. There's something in your life that you have been settling for. Whether this is settling for thinking that you'll never find that love that you want, have those friends that you want, you'll never be able to be as rich as you want or have the things in life that you want, it's time to stop telling yourself that. It's time to admit the truth to yourself about what it is that you do want and create the necessary change to make it happen. And then you have bag, something important such as a new job or raise is coming your way over this next 30 days. This is that connection. And then you have Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. This could be you. You could be very stubborn. You could be <laughs> avoiding dealing with certain issues. Uh, could be not allowing yourself to get vulnerable about something and to allow yourself to shed tears over some situation. It's going to be different for all of you. Or it could be this fair man who is a stubborn, aggressive person. Whatever it is, be on the lookout for this over the next 30 days and deal with it in the best way possible. If this is you, I feel that it's time to let go of this stubborn, aggressive behavior and allow yourself to be vulnerable. Allow yourself to let people in and to see the real you. Oh, and then we had another card that fell off. Success. You can expect success, success over this next 30 days. I feel like there's going to be some breakthroughs coming your way over this next 30 days. I feel like, um, yeah, breakthroughs, revelations, epiphany moments. It will lead to success. And then we're going to finish off with one final word of wisdom. There is pleasure in the pathless woods. What I'm being told with this is that you don't have to do things the same way that you've always done them. I'm hearing uh, the definition of insanity, right? They say that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. This next 30 days is going to give you the golden opportunity to handle things differently so that you can finally receive the results that you want. Group four. If this resonated with you, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below. If you would like to schedule some private coaching sessions to help you work through any feelings or emotions or anything that's going on in your life, feel free to reach out to me at my website. You can find that info listed down in the description box. Thank you so much for being here. I love you and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.